Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you over 20 different items that I've made with my Glowforge and things that you can make too. So first I'm going to show you the items that I have in my house right now and then I'll talk about some other items that I've made that I don't currently have in my possession but I'll show you pictures of those. Um, and also if you're interested in making certain things that I've designed I'll have the links in the description box below on where you can purchase the files. So let's go ahead and take a look. So first I'm going to show you a couple of Hawaiian signs that I've made for my daughter's first birthday coming up in May. This is an aloha sign that I made out of 1 8 inch Baltic birch plywood. Um, the base is out of 1 4 inch plywood and I'm actually going to spray paint these gold so they're not completely finished yet but you can kind of see what it's going to look like. And this also is the other sign that I've made. It says sweet one for her first birthday to go along with the Hawaiian theme. Next I have this custom name puzzle that I made for my daughter last year and I also sell these on my Etsy shop. Um, I just used 1 4 inch Baltic birch plywood and glued two boards together and I hand painted the letters and the woodland pieces and I also put a decorative backing just to give it some character. Next up I have this custom Christmas Eve box that I made also for my daughter. As you can see, there's a lot of detail in it, a lot of engraving, and it's really pretty. Um, this box I did not design, but I did purchase it from somebody on Etsy, and I just created it and put my own text on it. Um, but this box probably took around five to six hours to engrave and cut, so it was kind of a long project, but it was definitely worth it. And what's fun about this box is that it has a crank that you open with a little key. So it's really fun for kids. Next I have these garden stakes that I created. I actually have about 26 different designs, but I'll just show you two of them right now. Um, oregano and zucchini. And I actually made these for my mom for Mother's Day coming up. Also another garden item is a garden sign that I made on 1 one eighth inch cherry plywood. Um, I have this as a file that you can uh, purchase yourself if you would like to print it as well. To go along with the garden theme, I also made these leaf earrings. They were really simple. I just bought uh, earring wire and connectors from Joann's and they were really easy to cut. And I'm not a jewelry maker by any means, but these were simple. Another item I made was this Easter tag for my daughter. I made a few different designs of these, but they're really easy to cut, kind of like the ornaments that I'm going to show you, um, and I just hand painted them. Now I'm going to show you a couple of magnets. This first one I made um, just out of the shape of my dog, and I just bought the magnets on Amazon. They come in like an 80 pack and they're really cheap. And another magnet I made, I have seven different Hawaiian designs, but this is just a sea turtle that I'll show you here that I'm making for my daughter's birthday party. I just used um, 1 8 inch green acrylic and 1 8 inch clear acrylic and put the magnet that I bought from Amazon. One other thing I wanted to point out were these Glowforge um, pins for your crumb tray. Uh, I designed these and I have them available to purchase so you can print them yourself as well. Uh, you'll need them if you have any warped materials. Here's one other item I made for myself. It's a business card holder. Um, it's pretty basic, but I did add the tree design to it since it goes along with my name. Now a couple of fun uh, items that I've made. I have d eight different designs of tic-tac-toe boards. This is one that I made for the 4th of July and hand painted the little pieces. Here's another Christmas themed one, and this is made with 1 4 inch Baltic birch plywood. And one more design for the tic-tac-toes is a Halloween design cut out of a cat, 
with some pumpkins and ghosts. Next I'm going to get into some of my favorite items which are Christmas items. This ornament is the latest ornament that I've designed. It's a fireplace family ornament. And what's really cool about it is that it's made with um, 1 8 inch cherry plywood, but I also put 1 8 inch clear acrylic on the back. So it's a two piece item. And you can see that the engraving on the acrylic has some brick that you could see through the fireplace, which gives it some extra character. Another ornament I made, this was for my brother's wedding back in January. I made it off of 1 8 inch cherry plywood. And another ornament that people really seem to love were these paw print ornaments. This one is with my dog's name in it. They're really simple to make and they only take about two and a half minutes to print. All right, another item that I'm really proud of are these snow globe ornaments that I designed. I have about seven different designs, but I'll show you the four that I have with me. This one is of my dog Macy. I just hand painted the inside of it and it's made of 1 8 inch sapili plywood and 1 8 inch acrylic. And I put the clear white glitter on the inside before I glued everything together so it looks like a real snow globe. And you can shake it up and all the glitter will fall into place which makes it really fun for kids too. This one is another one that I made of a national park. And then two others that I have, one is a nativity scene and the other one is of Santa's sleigh with some trees. And these you can find um, in the description box below if you're interested in printing them yourself. Okay, so now I'm going to get into the items that I made that I don't currently have in stock right now, but I'll show you pictures of them. First, I will show you a cutting board that I made for my brother for Christmas. We engraved a recipe from my mom, one of his favorite recipes, and engraved it on a booze block that we bought on Amazon. It was a maple booze block, and it came out really nice. I also made this pet memorial that I also sell on my Etsy shop. It's made with 1 8 inch sapili plywood, 1 8 inch cherry plywood, and 1 8 inch clear acrylic. So it has three different layers to it. Next up is a dog leash holder that is really easy to make. I actually bought the pre-made sign from Michael's and I cut out the dog silhouette and then I bought a hook from Amazon to attach as well. Another sign I have is an interchangeable sign. In this picture, it just shows the tulips that I have, but it also comes with other items for all four seasons. And they're really easy to make. You can just glue the welcome phrase on top and then I just have Velcro pieces to detach and reattach the different items. Next up are some hatchets that I made. I bought these hatchets on Amazon. I believe they're made of hickory wood and I engraved it off of a hardwood setting. And then I, for the blue line American flag one, I just painted in the blue line. Another fun item is a pencil holder that I made for my sister for her birthday. I also sell this file on my Etsy shop for you to print as well. What's cool about it is that it has one side with a cutout of a bonfire and another side that's cut out of a pine tree. And again, I just hand painted a little bit of both sides of the holder. And finally, another sign that I made is an Easter peep sign. This was really easy. I printed it on 1 4 inch Baltic birch plywood, both the base and the sign, and then I painted it. And there was no gluing involved. All right, so I hope that video was helpful for you. As you can see, Glowforge is very versatile. There are so many different things you can make with it, and I'm very happy that I purchased one. If you are planning on purchasing one yourself, feel free to use my referral code. The link is in the description box below where you can get money off and I'll be able to get credits too, which me and my family would really appreciate. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and thanks for watching.